Welcome to the Sailing Masters. They just marched on to Mountain Dew, and they will now play Bells of Newport, which was written in 1790 about the lovely ladies of Newport, Rhode Island. Two frigates, which is comprised of Hull's Victory and United States March. Hull's Victory refers to the U.S. first naval battle win over the air in the North Atlantic near Nova Scotia. The United States March refers to the sister ship, the Constitution. The United States' most notable battle was with the Macedonia in October of 1812. Masters will play one of America's most loved Civil War songs, The Battle Hymn of the Republic.
Sailing Master's Quick Step, also known as No Mistake. Next up, the Sailing Masters will be playing their signature medley, Sails Unfurled. The songs in it are Sailing, Sailing, Sailor's Hornpipe, Whoop Jamboree, Rule Britannia, Life on an Ocean Wave, and The Drunken Sailor.
Next up will be the medley Kingdom Coming, which is Kingdom Coming, Sherman's March to the Sea, Marching Through Georgia. Two of these pieces were written by native Henry Work of Middletown, Connecticut.
Next up, the Sailing Masters will play a piece dating back to 1810 called Turkey in the Straw, and they will also play it with the fill. Next up will be Navy 2-4, which is Campbell Heights, a drum solo, and Farewell to Whiskey.
little error. All right, here we go. Um, so before the sailing masters play their last piece, I would like to take a moment of your time after the fun stuff. Um, sailing masters will now play Mix on the March, which is made up of Patio Tool, Irish Reel, Minstrel Boys, and Donna Gow. Sailing Masters will be playing 1812 and they will be joined by the Chester Fife and Drum Corps.
Fife and Drum Corps was founded in 1867 and incorporated in 1868. They have taken the stand to 1812 and will now perform our nation's greatest hits from the Revolutionary War period. Under the direction of drum majors Frenchy Cordeaux and Shelley Critella, the Chester Fife and Drum Corps has had a full 2018 season performing throughout New England. Their muster will be held in September, and being the last month of the summer, the Corps will perform in honor of that the 1st of September. Under the direction of Color Guard Sergeant Carlos Uphold, the Chester Fife and Drum Corps Color Guard will present the flag as the Corps performs Rally Round the Flag.
will now perform soldiers. Anybody want the light on or are we good? Turn the lights on. We'll leave them off then. All right. In 1959, the Chester Drum Corps performed in a movie starring Doris Day and Jack Levin. The movie known as It Happened to Jane was filmed in Chester, Connecticut and was to be the only cameo appearance of the Corps of that magnitude. The musical selection chosen as the Corps marched through town was a piece called Jaybird and the Fireman. For the core members today, this piece is performed on parades when they find themselves surrounded by tall buildings, forcing the echo of their bass line to ring through the crowds. Ladies and gentlemen, while under the direction of bass drum corporal Megan Cordell, the Chester Fife and Drum Corps will perform Jaybird and the Firemen. the Chester Fife and Drum Corps took flight and landed in Glasgow, Scotland to represent the United States during the Cowell Highland Gathering as the first American unit to participate in that event. 
The Cowell Highland Gathering, also known as the Cowell Games, is an annual Highland Games event held in the Scottish town of Danoon on the Cowell Peninsula in Argyll and Butte over the final weekend in August. This event is historic, and well over 23,000 spectators witnessed the group's performance that day. The Chester Fife and Drum Corps will now feature their Fife section under the direction of Fife Sergeant June Cordeaux and perform Amazing Grace into Scotland the Brave. who went to Scotland with us. Raise your hand. There you go. Come on, Ray. You there? Uh, all right. The Chester Drumline, while under the direction of Drum Sergeant Don Buell, has been recognized for their camaraderie, their performance, and their abilities to just have fun. Featuring their drumline, quote, as a whole, the Corps will now perform Grandfather's Clock and Drum Fill into York's Fusiliers. Oh, and Drum Fill into York's Fusiliers. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> you guys got that? I didn't. <laughs>
Incorporated in 1868, the Chester Fife and Drum Corps must have established officers to uphold their legal responsibilities. They would like to recognize their current Corps of Officers. President Mr. Brian Schiller and Vice President Mr. Trent Rufino. Business Manager Mr. Frenchy Cordo. Corps Secretary Mayor Harlow. And finally, Corps Treasurer June Cordo. Awesome job. It is a lot of work. Very good. The Corps would like to perform Battle Hymn and Johnny. Gentlemen, the Chester Fife and Drum Corps will be celebrating their 150th year of continuous fifing and drumming. They will be hosting a 150th anniversary muster on September 22nd, 2018 at the Chester Fairgrounds starting around 1230. On behalf of the Chester Fife and Drum Corps, we thank you for the opportunity to come and perform for you. The Corps will now perform its hallmarked piece, which is always performed last at all their events and is also used to welcome new members by surrounding them with fellowship. At this time, the Chester Fife and Drum Corps will perform Old Zip Coon and surround you with the same fellowship that has kept this corps going for 150 years of continuous fifing and drumming. Thank you.
And point out everybody, Salem Masters and Tusker. Nice job, and congratulations again, Tusker, for 150 years of fighting drama.